Hi everyone, this is my one memory challenge. I am challenging Dale Perini, Luke Carter, Megan Marshall, Bob Brandhuber, and Malou Gothrop to put their own memory up and if they don't do it in 24 hours to donate for, to the Alzheimer's Association because sharing a memory is sharing yourself and it's important. So my memory is about why I became a writer. I'm a writer, I've published a few books, um, and my family knows that, everybody knows that, but most people don't know why I became a writer or why I even thought I could be a writer, and that's because of my great aunt. Her name was Lillian Bailey, we called her Aunt Dady. She was born before 1900, she became a nurse before there was even penicillin. She saw so many changes throughout her lifetime. And when she was in her 70s and 80s, I got to know her. And she would invite me and my brother over to her house and she would make us tacos, the best tacos on the planet actually. And we would go into her room and snuggle down under a comforter and she would tell us stories. I loved going in that room because she kept the heater on and it was the only time I was warm. But we would sit in there and she would tell us stories like the little match girl and how the tiger got its tail. I didn't know till years later that those were actually stories in books. I thought she had made them up. So when I started actually babysitting, I, I actually told stories. I didn't read books to my kids. I actually told stories and they were the hero and the heroine. They would ride unicorns and slay dragons and uh, become very small and go into mouse holes and just all kinds of wonderful things and we had all kinds of adventures. And that was because my Aunt Dady had inspired me. When I was about 10, shortly before she passed away, she wrote me several letters when I went to Camp Bar Girls Camp and I was so sad. It was a week, it felt like a month. I wrote letters with tears stating the paper. I think my mother wanted to bring me home immediately. Um, I think after a couple of days I got over it, but my Aunt Dady sent me letters back and she said, Robin, she said, I can see, I can see the pictures that you've created with your words. I kind of feel the emotions that you've created with your words. And that was the first time I guess I believed I could write. And Aunt Dady gave me that gift. She gave me the gift of storytelling and she gave me the gift of writing. And it took me a long time to see that dream come to fruition, but it was my Aunt Dady who inspired me. So kids, I hope that I can inspire you as well. Um, she would sometimes say that you, know, you can do whatever you want if you try and if you believe strongly enough, if you work hard enough, um, and if you have faith. And I believe that. So she has made my life what it's become and I, she was such an important part of my childhood. So I wanted to share that with my family. A little hint on why I'm doing what I'm doing, which is being a crazy writer. And I hope it inspires someone else. But it's a memory I wanted you to know about. Not many people do know. So that's my one memory challenge. It's my memory that I've shared forever with all of you all. Um, so I am challenging Dale Perini, Luke Carter, Megan Marshall, Bob Branchuber, and Malou Gothrop. I want you guys to share a memory too. And if you don't share a memory in 24 hours, why don't you donate to the Alzheimer's Association? I've got links below um, to go to a tribute page so you can learn more about my mom or um, also a website and a Facebook page. And so everything is there, but please join us in the One Memory Challenge. I think you'll be glad you did.